going on peeps got a special one for you today we're going to be talking about flavier 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 you probably saw their commercials somewhere it's basically a subscription for hard liquor there seems to be a lot of shadows and unknowns about this subscription based delivery system so i couldn't verify based on what i was being offered for the price I was going to pay, whether or not this was gonna be worth it. So what I'm gonna do for you today, is it worth it? Is the subscription worth it? What membership price should you be paying? Let me remind you, I'm not gonna be going into the Mezcal, tequila, rum that they offer. I'm not very knowledgeable in that. I will, however, go into the whiskey part of Flavier, Flavier, whatever it is. This is not sponsored. You could probably tell. I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. It is what it is. Let's go over the memberships that you can get monthly. Obviously, you pay a monthly subscription fee, $60, and what do you get for that $60? You get one product, and you get member benefits. Now, what does the member benefits uh, entail or include? Free shipping on $60 or more on products, early access to exclusives, community access and educational content, and you get discounts online as well. So there's also the three month subscription. So quarterly you get charged about $110. What do you get for that $110? You get two products and the membership benefits that I already went over. Then we come to the gigantic one year subscription where you pay $350 on a yearly basis. You get a total of eight products. You get member benefits, already went over those. So I'm gonna go through an example on whether or not this is worth it, okay? I'm gonna use the example of one year membership. Now, if you just wanna jump ahead and you wanna miss all the math, I'm gonna do timestamps. First time ever. I hope I do it right. If it's not there, I didn't figure it out. And just skip ahead. I, I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. So we're gonna get a little bit number heavy here. Skip forward if you don't want to hear it. How do you make it worth it? So you pay three hundred fifty dollars. You get eight products. Each product can either be a tasting. So that's three vials of three separate products that you can taste, or you can just get a bottle of hard alcohol. So on an average, you should be spending $43.75 to make this of value worth it. So for example, if every product that you choose is worth $43.75, you broke even, you made it worth it, right? Kind of makes sense. So you're probably wondering, what's the value on these tasting boxes? That is up to you. And we're gonna go through one box right here. I will stay at one tasting box. So I'm gonna run through some of the examples of the current month that I have available to me to choose as a product. So again, eight products. You can choose one of these bottles for each product. Now, I'm only going to name a few that you probably have heard of, um, and I'll give you the MSRP of that bottle. So again, remember, 43.75 is your goal average. Glenlivet 12, MSRP of about 45, that is above what you want. Johnny Walker Double Black, $40-ish, that's a little below. Highland Park 12, a Viking honor. Mm. I like that one. That is a $50 value. Again, above $43.75. And then you get like the famous grouse, which is like a $20, $25 MSRP value. It's really cheap scotch. 
but you also get a free glass. So they kind of incentivize a higher value with the glass that you get along with it. So that's up to you on how worth it that piece of glass is. Wild Turkey 101. Hmm. Definitely a really good one. Very nice. But cheap. $30 value under $43.75. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I think it's on a monthly or maybe quarterly. At whatever frequency it is, they do cycle what they have for your product options. So that's just a few of the items that are available as products. Now, there is one option that I have not covered yet. It substitutes one of your products you pay a little bit more, you get a higher quality product. You combine the two, you get a higher quality product. Kind of just makes sense, right? Now, where they can get you is, remember I said each product is basically valued at $43.75. So if you take that substitution, you add the price that you pay extra, that is the price you're paying for this product. So if it's above that MSRP, it's not really what you want. If it's below, that's what you want. That's good. I'm gonna go over a couple examples. I just bought two upgraded products. I bought a Kentucky Owl confiscated bourbon as well as a Bullet Barrel Strength bourbon. For the Bullet, I paid $7.99. You're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that's quite the deal. But remember, you're substituting a product, so $43.75 plus the $7.99. What did I pay extra for the Kentucky Owl? $33.99. So it's about $76, right? When I go to any store around me, every Kentucky Owl is at least minimum $100. So I basically got it for $23 off. That's pretty damn good. And it's getting delivered to my door. I'm going to take that nine times nine. Why not 10? 10 times out of 10. But this is an example of this month's option that you could have potentially done. Let's say for your eight products, you chose Redbreast 12, Jefferson small batch, a tasting box, Wild Turkey 101, Penelope 4 Grain, Aberlore 12, Lost Irish, and Yellow Rose Rye. So for MSRP, you get $318.75. Again, for the yearly subscription, you paid $350, unless you got it on discount. You want to maximize your value of what you're getting for your eight products. That's all I'm saying. So, math over. We get to Tindu drinking. I don't know what I, what did I just say? So I haven't opened this yet. It comes in this little box, which also comes in another box. Let's move things over. Let's get a little close up here. You've got to try this. Oh, geez. What is this? Is this a coaster? I think that might be a coaster. So you're probably wondering, what tasting box did I get? <laughs> You'll have to find out. Government warning. That's kind of useless. Sample A. Sample B. Sample C. All right, for sample A, we got Ichiro's. Ichiro's. Listen. Come at me. Malt and grain whiskey, Japanese. It's sitting at 46.5%. Not bad, not bad. For B, Kujira. I'm gonna butcher all these names. Just leave me alone, okay? It says Ryukyo whiskey. I don't know what that means. Hold up. So this is 34.4%. Trying to do the math here. I'm pretty sure that's under 40%. I don't trust that at all. The Matsui. 
Minzunara cask single malt. Nice. I think I'm going to like that one the best. We'll see. 48% ABV. So it comes in these little vials. So again, you're paying $43.75 approximately for three vials. 50 mils. You get 150 total versus 750 total. Oh, on the back, they have tasting notes. A, B, C. I don't know why I poured so heavily on the A. I was just curious. Wow, that one is light in color as fuck. Is that just water? You know what? I poured so much because I wanted to acclimate my palate first. Okay. Jesus. That smells like hubba bubble bubble gum. I feel like that caramel is a stretch. And that's one of the bigger, bigger noses. Oh wait, is this tasting? This might be just tasting, not nose. So I was wrong. Don't listen to me. Let it breathe. Let it adjust. Cheers. It's good. I'll just leave it at that. It's good. Next up. Ooh. Number one is brine. I love myself some brine. Isla Scotch. Yes. Let us see. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. On the nose, there you get a lot of that brine. I'm smelling that brine. Yeah. I was like, I smell pear. Is pear on there? It is. It's one of the last ones, but it's on there. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. The aftertaste. I don't know if I'm a fan of. You definitely get the brine right up front. That was pretty nice. I like that. I do like my salty things. I'm gonna go back to that one. Now we basically got water. Can't wait for this one. I thought I was gonna like this one the best. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely my favorite nose so far. Number one thing they say is fresh. Now, what does it remind me of for fresh? Air fresheners. He's beginning to believe. Cool breeze, salty beach air, that kind of stuff. You get something of that essence out of this glass right now. Where they got floral, it kind of goes along with that fresh. I called in the beginning, it was probably gonna be my favorite. Smell, definitely my favorite. Taste. Mmm. Buttery, oily mouthfeel. You definitely get that fresh and floral note right up front. They say tobacco. I am getting a little bit of that back of the throat tobacco feel. I said I'd go back to B. I still like that freshness of that nose. Honestly, that just might be mostly from the distillate. Because look how friggin' light that is. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but I liked A the least. I liked B right where it was, and I liked C the most. It was the... I don't know what I was going with that, but would I do more for my products? Uh, probably not. And I feel like a lot of their tasting boxes the whiskeys they use are not that hard to find. I think that's it. Again, if you don't want to do the math like I did to try and find something that makes the price worth it, you can just wing it and it's going to come out close. If you want to maximize your value, then you're probably going to have to do some math. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. 
May the roof above us never fall in and we friends beneath never fall out. If this was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you comment on anything else you want to see. See ya.